Hey everybody, Paul here in front of Tiger Stadium where I hit that now infamous home run called the shot heard around Detroit. Uh, you're about to see the clip of that home run, but unfortunately you won't see where the ball landed because the camera person did one of these things in the awe of seeing me hit such a powerful hit. You will see a lot of conflicting reviews or uh, opinions about where the ball landed, but enjoy this clip. I hope, you, I hope you'll like it and have your own opinions to share. I'm Danny and it's my brother Larry and we're a couple teammates of Paul's and I was up at the park up in Tiger Stadium where he cranked one out. He hit a shot out to left field and then that thing cleared almost went under the upper deck. It was what are you so far talking about. Paul's home run. That he hit the left center field, you know? No. <laughs> it, you know, it was quite a shot. I mean, it's uh, 335 feet down the left field corner. Uh, the ball traveled 335 and three inches. You know? But it does make any difference. It got over. That's right. I gave up a lot of them and went over in the first row. Son of a bitch. Well, first of all, I want to kind of elaborate on the hit itself. It was a uh, solo home run to left field that obviously was a little bit of a fence scraper, but it doesn't matter as long as it goes over the fence. Well, Traveled about 357 and a half feet, and uh, you should be extremely proud of your accomplishments here at the Fantasy Camp. The home run was it, it was a, just it just got over the left field fence. It was hit into a 25 mile an hour wind, and it was a, a blast that I haven't seen since uh, I've seen Willie Horton hit him. <laughs> but there's some brown stuff coming up around my shoes. <laughs> That was an outstanding blast, one of the best I've ever seen. Well, Paul, I just wanted to tell you that I was out here and I saw that on the 3-2 pitch. One run down, the home run was unbelievable. And it barely, just barely made it over the wall. But you saved the day for your team. You knocked the only home run of the weekend. And I tell you, I couldn't be more proud of you because I helped you a little bit in batting practice. It was awesome. Paul Barker, HR, could be the last home run ever hit in Tiger Stadium. Well, you know, it was an amazing uh, feat that you did because the wind was blowing in about 20 miles an hour, and they had a fireballer out on the mound, and uh, there's no way. We shaded you over to left field because you're a dead pull hitter, and uh, for some reason, the guy threw you a fastball in the outside part of the plate. You hit a dead away center field. No way. Everybody thought it was a can of the corn. It just kept going, going, going. One of the only balls we've ever seen going to the upper deck at center field of Tiger Stadium. Well, you know, I've been uh, around Tiger Stadium for the last 25, 26 years and uh, seen a lot of monstrous blasts in this park, but uh, this one was something to behold. I mean, Paul hit this one and it immediately brought, th brought back thoughts of Mark McGuire, Cecil Fielder, Frank Howard. No, the best of the best, and uh, no, this was right up there with him. Very right. impressive. Paul, that was a tremendous blast in that upper deck at Tiger Stadium, probably well over 430 feet. But I don't think it'll compare with that light tower, the one I hit over that light tower there in 68. That went well over 550 feet. So you see, you're still a minor ligger, okay? Hey, Paul, how you doing? I'll tell you what, this Paul guy that was at Fantasy Camp hit the farthest home run. I mean, it was a low outside slider, two guys on, it's two to nothing, ninth inning, unbelievable, upper deck, he's full of shit. <laughs> if Paul says he hit a 400 foot home run in Tiger Stadium, then he must have done it. And I must have seen it. He's a little bit different looking now though, he's a little chubbier, he wouldn't fit in the uniform. Well, you know, I've had Mandel, I've had Nurse hit home runs, but I've never seen one hit like Paul's. Yeah. I, I can't. I can never forget the day that uh, down Tiger Stadium, uh, when Paul hit this home run. And the uh, funny thing was, I thought he had no chance. <laughs> Crack of the bat, you knew it was gone. Uh, it, it looked like uh, Pudge from the Red Sox. I mean, because he was out front, he didn't have a fast bat, but because he threw him an off-speed pitch, he got around on it. And it, you could almost see him giving one of those. So I'll never forget that because he reminded me of Pudge going down in Boston, like trying to keep it fair, trying to keep it fair, and the ball did hit fair. It was uh, one of the neatest things I've uh, seen up there at Tiger Stadium. Okay, I've been asked to uh, replay Paul's home run at Tiger Stadium. 
actually is one of the more amazing home runs I've ever seen. Uh, I've heard stories about guys hitting balls. Uh, actually, this ball was into the left field area, which, as you know, there's probably only been a couple guys that have hit the ball over the roof in left field at Tiger Stadium. Although this ball did not go over the roof, it was just as amazing. The ball hit, he hit it so hard, that it hit the facing of the upper deck. The paint came off the facing, and as soon as the paint came off the facing, all the pigeons that hide underneath there came flying out, and it was just a shower of birds and paint chips, and as you looked up there, you could see a big dent where the ball had hit. One of the greater moments that I've ever seen at Tiger Stadium, just a great hit. Well, you should have seen a home run ball hit. Uh... It was gone as soon as it left the bat. The crowd got up and started cheering, and uh, you know there was no doubt about it. And uh, unfortunately, it went foul. Well, I'll tell you what. I never seen a ball hit quite as far as it was hit that day. Uh, hard throwing left-hander dropped down on the side. Paul took a swing. The ball jumped way out into right field. As soon as he hit it, I knew it was gone. I thought. Well, is it going to get out of here or is it not going to get out of here? And the next thing, it disappeared clean over the roof and landed on the lumber company across the street. One of the furthest balls i ever seen hit. Peaches, did you see that home run that Paul hit? It was one of the longest home runs I've ever seen in Tiger Stadium. I remember it well. You know, it was one of those ones that kind of hit the roof. I think it almost went over and then kind of hit the light standard and came back the way I remember. Like Reggie's? A little bit, a little it was bit. Unbelievable. But the wind was blowing in, Reggie's was blowing out. Okay, now Paul and us, we can all wake up now because that's so much crap. That's right, that was, uh, that's right. Tiger Stadium in there anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about Paul's home run. It was an 85 mile per hour slider on the outside black. Somehow he was able to reach out and jerk it back to the pool field. He hit it 375 feet. It was a monumental blast, one for the ages, one that we will all remember. I just wish he'd hit a little bit down here because I'm his coach now. <laughs> I want to tell you, but well, one of the strangest home runs I've ever seen hit was Paul's home run at Tiger Stadium three years ago. Pitcher threw the ball. He had a great swing at it, but it sounded like a well-hit ball, but the ball seemed to go up high in the air. The outfielder was backing up, backing up. Looked like he was going to settle under it, but he happened to be, if anybody saw Pete Rose catch fly balls, he used to snap at the ball. As the outfielder went out to snap at the ball, he hit the ball over the fence, into the stands, home run, umpire signaled it. Paul got his first home run at Tiger Stadium. Well, I think everybody knows I've been involved with the fantasy camp since day one, and we've had some good hitters down here, but this year, Paul was just an unbelievable hitter. He hit one nine miles. In fact, I think it's further than the one that the Mark McGuire hit. Uh, over the roof at Tiger Stadium. It was just amazing, and we're still talking about it. In, in, the, in the record books of the Hall of Fame, it goes up number one. Besides that, he's a nice guy, too. I saw Paul's home run at Tiger Stadium, but, you know, of course it wasn't good as mine. I hit mine over the roof, and Paul was maybe there, but home run is a home run. Paul is a great ball player, and uh, he's having a great fantasy camp down there so far. I don't think Paul ever hit a home run. I was there, Paul. I know it happened just like Babe Ruth called his shot in 1932. You did it, and that was a true home run, and it was long gone. All right, I'm here to talk about that famous home run that Paul hit. Supposedly, it's all bullshit, okay? He had a dream one night, and he was hungover. So just forget about it. There was no home run. Hello, I'm Dave Dombrowski, the President and General Manager of the Detroit Tigers. And by now, I'm sure all of you have heard of the legendary home run that Paul hit at Tiger Stadium. Well, we heard of the great skills that he had. I'm really not sure if I believe them. But we did sign him to this big contract right over here. As you can see, one cent. That's what it was signed. And you know what? As they say sometimes in the business world, you get what you pay for. And we didn't get very much. Happy birthday, Paul. Enjoy it. Hey everybody, of course the Tigers won today. I hope you enjoyed the clips, and if I were you, I'd get to a fantasy camp soon, because you can have all the fun that I had, and I did hit that home run, I don't care what anybody says.